Hollister Airport, automated weather observation. One, eight, two, five, Zulu weather. Roger that. Wind calm. Visibility more than one, zero. Sky condition clear below one, two thousand feet. Temperature one, eight, The Enhanced Air-to-Ground Laser Comms System, or EAGLES program, entered its third phase of flight testing for the Air Force Research Laboratory. This series of long-distance field trials set out to demonstrate that an all-optical, wireless laser communication link is achievable between a mobile airborne platform and the ground. As the Aoptics Technology System Integration and Test Team prepare for a week of new flight profiles, the Air Force was on site to witness more flights, this time at higher altitudes and further distances that would advance the technical readiness of Aoptics LaserCom. In previous phases of the program, Aoptics successfully demonstrated the capabilities of pointing, acquisition, and tracking, critical elements to maintaining a reliable link. The Aoptics LCT 5.1 is the ground node. Atop this platform stage, it is tripod mounted to a precision gimbal that would aid in maneuvering the terminal for pointing to and tracking the airplane in flight. The R3.1 terminal is the airborne node. Mounted inside an inertially stabilized gimbal, this skyball would deploy in flight through the plane's unique bomb bay doors. Prior to takeoff, the team would calibrate a GPS guidance system to known ground references. With the initial pointing system calibrated, both the R3.1 and the LCT-5 would easily be able to find each other to close the loop. Once airborne, the GPS coordinates are transmitted via RF to both ground and air nodes. As the GPS coordinates pinpoint their locations, the system then hands the geopointing to the onboard infrared video tracking cameras. Once in the wide field of view, the system can automatically narrow the field of view to precisely track each terminal's beacon, an 850 nanometer emitter beaming from each system. Once locked, closing the loop is effortless and the two terminals are then sending and receiving data over a single four inch beam of light. Aoptics engineer Brooke Hamilton will now demonstrate how the PAT, or pointing acquisition and tracking, works to close the link. See the beacon, there we go, I see beacon. Now we'll double click, we'll lock, now we're in feedback. There are two high-def cameras aboard the P-68. In television, they're referred to as POV, or point of view cameras. One is mounted in the cockpit behind the pilot. The other is mounted in the belly of the aircraft. These two cameras are full 1080 by 1920 resolution cameras. Each source in the continual 1080i HD video feed was switched live and captured on the ground with a professional broadcast HD cam record deck. From the ground control trailer, the team anticipates flying further and higher than in previous tests. Aoptics was able to set a new record for the Eagles program with a slant angle distance of over 100 kilometers. The distance translates to an effective ground coverage area of over 31,500 square kilometers. Through the Eagles program, Aoptics continues to push the level of technical readiness for LaserCom. Through adaptive optics, a low-power, eye-safe LaserCom link can provide ultra-high data rates at long distances, even if one of the terminals is flying high. Wireless optical bandwidth through FreeSpace LaserCom, a pioneering innovation from Aoptics Technologies.